Welcome to our Artificial Intelligence Jargon Explainer series. If you've been hearing a lot about Artificial Intelligence or AI lately, and you want to understand some of the terms being used in this space, but you're not a tech expert, then you are in the right place. Topic one, what is AI? Artificial Intelligence might sound like science fiction, but it's been part of our lives for quite some time. In fact, you've probably used AI many, many times a day without even realizing it. For example, the social media platform that you are watching this on uses AI to suggest content that you'll like. If you've ever had a hold placed on your credit card due to suspicious activity, that's AI at work too. And if you unlock your phone with your face, yep, facial recognition uses AI as well. There are several types of AI, but today we're gonna to focus on two, traditional AI and generative AI. Traditional AI involves algorithms or problem-solving tools designed for specific tasks. It doesn't learn from the data it processes, but operates within predefined rules. For example, if you use a navigation app to find the best route to somewhere, that's traditional AI helping you out. In my own research, I use AI software like ImageJ to count and measure cells in microscope images. It does that in seconds, saving me hours of manual counting time. Generative AI is the type of AI you've probably been hearing about recently thanks to tools like ChatGPT, Copilot, and Dali. Now, this type of AI can create new content, text, images, music, and more. For example, I can type into ChatGPT and ask it to generate a picture of, I don't know, let's say a Dalmatian playing the piano at the beach, and voila, here it is. Or I could use it to help me to write a newsletter, plan this week's meals. Both of those examples, generative AI will generate new writing or new recipes to help me to save time. As generative AI evolves, it could even assist with personalized education and medical diagnoses. Now, generative AI only works well if it's trained on vast amounts of data from websites, books, and other sources. We'll go more into that in a later video, but for now, that's a really quick overview of traditional AI versus generative AI. Check out my next video where we're gonna deep dive into topic two, machine learning.